How's it going everybody? I am back with yet another straight and to the point guitar and chords tutorial. Today it's Billie Eilish and the 30th. Standard tuning, no capo. Um, it's in the key of G, a lot of finger picking and some little melody lines. So basically we have G to D with an F sharp. That's the D with the thumb on top and then E minor. When you get to the E minor, you're gonna do that little melody on the B string, okay? And then stay on that chord and then you're gonna do a melody into the A minor chord which comes next to G to D back into that melody line so something to keep in mind during the verse um, you don't have to play the high E string on most of these shapes I think um, they're just staying you know kind of like that See how I'm just kind of stopping on the B string there? So it's really, um, you're not going to hear that sound that much. All right, so again, just to review really quick, uh, first verse, G, D slash F sharp, E minor. Get those little melody lines in there if you can. There's your A minor to your G to your D. Now, there's a couple ways to do G. You might have learned it like this with four fingers. You could also play it with the B string open, the three finger G, okay? So I think what they're doing a lot of in the song is the open B string uh, G voicing, okay? So. You got that? All right, so it's three times there, and then into the pre-chorus and the first chorus, you can do E minor to D to C added nine, then G, E minor, then C. Then you're gonna repeat that, G, E minor, C. Then this part is E minor, G, C, and then we're going to do G with the B as the lowest string, the B note. Um, it's basically just like a G chord, but you're going to start it from the A string, all right? Or they might be doing it like that, too. And then A minor for a little while, then C minor into verse 2, which is only two times this time. that little melody line it's still a little tricky to play you know you got to kind of like be pretty confident with your finger picking because it's a little weird now we're in the pre-chorus 2 and chorus 2 which is just like the first G to E minor to C repeat that again G E minor C, and then E minor, G, C to that G slash B chord, right? And then A minor to C minor again. Now the bridge is weird, the, the big buildup. Um, it's basically G, G augmented. G6 or an E minor and then back to G augmented. The way the easiest way to do this is just play the D, G, and B strings open. Then the first fret of the D string, then the second fret of the D string, and then back to the first. That's the easiest way to do that whole progression. It's very it's weird chords, but an easy move. So as the intensity's building, you know louder and louder it's just literally those three three chords g g augmented g6 or e minor it's kind of the same thing and then you're going to hold c minor out of that bridge and then for the outro we got g we got e minor and then we got c and repeat that again and on this part just like the chorus from before e minor to G, 
or you know the the open B string. I, I always get used to playing G uh, with the four fingers. So E minor G C and then G slash B and then A minor then C minor as the song slows down and winds down and then G. That's it. All right, if you found this video helpful, I really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, helps me break through the godforsaken algorithm. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this or if you enjoyed this video. Um, recently broke 2,300 subs, trying to get to 3,000, uh, 5,000, eventually 10K. doesn't cost you a dime. Um, if you have any special requests, I am happy to do them. Um, I love all the stuff. I always learn everything by ear, and I just so enjoy all of these songs. So if you, you know... Again, leave a comment if you got a special request. Doesn't matter. Um, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, pay it forward, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.